Hey, what's up? So, I decided to do a day trip where I'm going to go to some scenic locations. Hopefully see some wildlife, you know. Got a little bit of snow last night. Might have mailed it off by now. But hey, I'm looking for some cool scenery and things you don't see every day. Like maybe a bald-headed eagle swooping over the river. I'd really love to see that. So I'm on my way to this covered bridge called Hearns Mill Cover. And it's not too far outside of Lewisburg, which is what I'm driving through right now. So I saw the sign finally saying uh, Hearns Mill Bridge, turn off, something like that. So I'm glad there was a sign pointing it out. You get to go through some beautiful farmland. That's pretty cool. Yes, there we go, Hearns Mill Road. We're going through some nice looking, old timey looking farmland. It's winding down a ways. Going down past the farm. I'm here. Oh, bridge. Oh, man. It's like the suspense is building as you creep down this one lane road. Oh, Ta da! There she is. The Hearns Mill covered. Guess what? We got some snow here still, and it gives a nice aesthetic to it with the creek running down there. All right. Wow. I did not expect it to have this stone wall architecture on the outside. Wow. This is amazing. I've never been to a covered bridge before. Let me, let me zoom up on that. 1879. And there's a plaque right here on this stone wall right here. So I wonder how often this bridge is used just for like regular traffic. I mean, that looked like, you know, private farmland that's driving by, but obviously it's a public road. You know, if anybody's just allowed to go on down through there at any time. That's such a nice little creek. See, people have scratched their initials along the walls. I gotta say, it feels nice. It's like when you walk under one of those picnic shelters at a state park. Only you get to hear the roar of water underneath you. It's so neat.
what's that say? Mill, Milken Creek. So that's the creek I just crossed. Milken Creek. And there's the bridge from the other side. The icicles just coming down off of the roof. There's some roots of a tree growing by the creek for who knows how long. I'm gonna go down underneath. vehicle just went across the bridge. That sounds so neat. So we lost a flashlight. Well, that is the Hearns Mill Covered Bridge. One last tree. I'll throw in is some footage of me driving across the bridge because that's just so neat. I'm even going to roll down the window a little bit. Such a neat experience to drive across a covered bridge in your vehicle. And now, I'm on my way to another covered bridge that's not too far from here, and it's called Hoax Mill Covered Bridge. You get to see plenty of beautiful farmland as you're driving on this road whether it's coming like no matter what direction you're coming from you get a you get a nice little tour of authentic West Virginia farmland I'm going up some narrow mountain road now I think I know where I'm going I'm sure I'll find my way out sooner or later. Man, I'm driving by some cliffs now on a narrow road. There's just vehicles flying like down this road, like the whole way. Like, it's crazy. I finally got off of that middle of nowhere one lane road going through the woods and the mountains. So, if you ever go to Hearns Mill Covered Bridge, and the only way I think that you should go is Lewisburg Way, not, not from Asbury Road and all this, because it's a much longer drive, and it's very complex, very complicated. You have to go through this winding road going uphill, and you know just like on the ledge of a mountain especially with vehicles that go through there like the speeds they go at to make the journey unstressful just go Lewisburg way to the covered bridge and just turn around and go back the way you came but anyways I'm parked here at a church I got off that road and I'm parked here at a church right across from the intersection and I'm going to make my way down towards Alderson. According to the map, the Hoax Mill Covered Bridge is near a place called Sinks Grove. 
So I'm going to go down towards Alderson. Then I got to take another road from there. That way I can get to Sinks Grove and find this covered bridge. So I finally made it down to Alderson. And I decided to stop and take a break right here to this park. Plenty of good sights right here to see. So I'll show it around. Hey look, you got a nice little sandy area here. It's not a bad looking park. Uh, right beside the road. Over there, you can see the railroad track. I like that. That's pretty awesome. That's what the water looks like right now down here. That's beautiful. This is Alderson. Neat little town. I think the bridge I'm looking for is on down here. Looking in that I've been down here in this area before. So I'm at the Sinks Grove, and I haven't seen a sign saying Hoax Mill Bridge, you know, turn off for it. But I do see like a, a road, Fort Spring Pike, and I'll. I, I wouldn't have any idea if that would lead it to the if that would lead to the bridge or not, but my gas it's looking it's looking all right. I don't want to chance it though. I might end up having to take a detour to Union, and if the sun goes down before I get to that bridge, that's all right. I'll find a flashlight and we'll look at it in the dark. I just gave my car a drink, so it's ready to get back on the road. I am ready to rock and roll and find this covered bridge and get some cool footage. Alright, so here's this road that I believe I'm supposed to go down. Fort Spring Pike. Here we go. There's a deer going down to the woods. Dang. All those deer just crossed the road, single file. I believe I took the wrong turn. The road might be labeled. I'm just going off of a map because my phone ran out of battery power and I'm recording with my Sony camcorder right now. So I'm going to go back to, um, you know, that turn off and I'm going to try to find the, a road or something saying Hoax Mill Road because that's what I'm supposed to get on according to the map. And if I can't find anything, 
I'm just gonna go on back home, you know, to Rotsford. Right there. Boom. I bet this is the way to go. There's the sign saying Hoax Mill Road. I am finally on the right track. Going down another one of those ridge roads, you know, through the woods. It's coming up very soon. Alright, I'm crossing Second Creek. So I'm guessing the bridge is nearby. So I'm back at that bridge that I crossed over Second Creek. And turns out the covered bridge is like right over from it. They're neighbors pretty much. And you know, where it was dark, it was hard to see anything like, like over from the bridge that I was crossing. So I got the flashlight and it's time to check it out. I believe I lucked out with this one. Because I'm getting to look at an old rustic bridge during the night while the moon is out. It just seems creepy enough for like one of them stories about a werewolf or something. <laughs> What in the world? Like, this is so creepy. Look. Right here is evidence of people who come to hang out here, like, obviously during hours such as now. You know? Nighttime. Though. I'm pretty sure if somebody was hiding in the shadows, they come out about now. Wow. This is a much more intricate bridge than Hearn's Mill. I like this one better. It's bigger. And it's one that you don't drive across, you know? Look at the beams. These are... I crunched on something. Well, look at these. Big old wooden beams. Like, oh wow. Still pipe. I wonder if bats are hiding out in the rafters up there. Oh, wow. Now, this is more of a Sleepy Hollow moment. This is the Sleepy Hollow Bridge. I'm just waiting to hear a horse trotting and some Horrific cackle. Wow. I mean, just look at, just look at these planks right here. Everything's bigger on this bridge. You got metal bars, these giant wooden beams. It's such a magnificent rafter up there. Wow, look at all those beams up there. Cross beams. Like, that's how big this bridge is. It needs cross beams on the ceiling. You can tell it's been here for an age or two. Let's 
Cement Foundation. I don't see any signs or plaques or anything that could tell information on it. I think I heard a dog. <laughs> yeah, I hear the neighbor's dog. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> yeah. There's some house up there on the hill, like, and there's a dog barking. Okay. <laughs> they, they might think I'm up to no good. <laughs> I guess it's best for me to head her on out. <laughs> but this is neat. Like, like, just look at those wooden boards. And the creek down there. Wow. I'm gonna. Oh, yeah. It's kind of hard to. It's kind of hard to show, like, what I'm seeing right now because of my camera's exposure settings or whatever. But. I'm going to see if I can try to sneak underneath this. Like... Wow. Okay. Like... Ugh. Here's the outside of the cover bridge. Very neat, very neat exterior. And, um, you can see more graffiti. The people came here to hang out. I'll blame them there. I'd hang out here too. Most of me saying this is a dumb idea. Hey. Oh. Check it out. Wow. Look at all this. Like, it don't get any more rustic than this. I hope there's no snakes hiding out here. Ah, oh, wow. Look at that. That is a big wooden beam right there. Amazing. Oh, I don't even want to picture what some of these wild teens coming here have done, like, crazy stuff. Like, I don't, I hope none of them have even tried, like, doing pull-ups off of these beams, like, climbing them like monkey bars. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Like, oh, <laughs> there's a much easier way to get down right here. Imagine that somebody's game of tic tac toe, the moon shining on the water. Like, this is the authentic, you know, covered bridge going over a creek. This is the kind that 
I've seen in movies. Oh, well, not seen. This is the kind that I think of when I hear a covered bridge. This is a covered bridge. This is authentic and it's beautiful. And now I'm going to take the safe way back up. Man, I can't even believe I took that other way down. I could have slipped on a rock and fell in the creek. Oh, that sucked. Anyways, if you ever get the chance to come down this way, yeah. Hoax Mill Covered Bridge is the real deal. Oh, wait. There's a plaque right up there. I can't. I can't. I'm trying to get zoomed up on the plaque. I might have to look up a picture of it or come back during the daytime to find out what it says. Because it's too high up there. Bingo. So, River Road to the right is exactly where I need to go. Because... It leads to this road that runs alongside the Greenbrier River and on back to Ronsburg. I can see a bunch of lights up there in the distance. So I know I'm on the right track now. Where are these narrow roadways? Well, appears I am back in Ronsburg. That was quite a way to spin. Um, February 14th. Yeah, I'm not about Valentine's Day. So I was like, I'm going to go out and do some blogging. And voila. I showed you all some covered bridges. Well, now I'm back in my apartment. And I enjoyed that journey. Even though it was a little more lengthy than what I expected. Plus, you know, nightfall came. Got a little colder, but hey, at least I got some cool footage. I thought it was neat how you could drive across the Hearns Mill Bridge, yet it was smaller than what I expected. So the Hoax Mill Bridge, I liked it more in terms of size and like structure, you know, architecture. It had all those wooden beams and everything. It, plus it was abandoned. It made it more rustic. The Hearns Mill Bridge, it was rustic too, but the Hoax Mill Bridge had much more to show. Either way, it was cool to see those. That was my first time ever looking at covered bridges. It was so cool to go out not too far from my apartment and find those. It's been good. Thanks for tuning in. I hope to come back with another one of these videos soon, so stay tuned. Mm -hmm.